So let's get started with code.org unit three, games and animations in the computer science discovery curriculum for 23-24. Um, we're gonna do lesson 10, uh, learning how to insert text. Shocker, we're starting with a prediction. Read the code below, make a prediction. Um, I'm assuming it's gonna show the word hello and it's gonna show the word everywhere. I'm assuming this is probably the location. So my prediction, Hello. Everyone. Um, so I'm assuming, based on where it's starting, hello will be more um, kind of in the middle of the screen, kind of up here. So it'll be at 10, x value of 10, y value of 200, and then this will be at 200, 300. So we click run. Yes, and there they are. Okay. Okay, um, you can put text anywhere you like on the screen using the text block. So yet another tool, it is located in the drawing menu. Um, and there it is, that STR. Um, so text has three parameters to start with. There are more we'll learn about down the road that we can use, but the three most basic. That STR um, represents the data type in JavaScript that is a string. So typically when we're using this text command, we're generally recognizing a string, but we can also use it to display the value stored in a variable. So if you're making a game with a scoreboard and you want the score to update, um, you can use a text command and tell it to print the value stored in a variable. And as that value changes, the text will change on the screen. So it's really cool when we get to that. All right. So right now we have a yellow background and we have a text that says change me and add another text block. So it says change the, top, the display text and the text provided below. Um, so I'm going to be very literal and I'm just going to say you have been changed. And then I'm going to add text that says this is new text. And I want to put it in a different part of the screen. So that's kind of left side center. Let's put this at the top. So let's go about 50, 50. And there we have this is new text and we have you have been changed. All right, and I don't think there's an extra challenge on that one. So we've met that requirement. Okay, so obviously some of you are probably wondering, well, what if I wanna make the text bigger, smaller, change colors? We're about to get into all of that. So we have a light blue background. We have the word small, medium, and large. The small text has a text size assigned to it of 20. The medium has a text size assigned to it of 40. And notice large is the same size. So just like with our uh, shapes, we have to give it the color first, then draw the shape. <coughs> Excuse me, same thing with the text. You have to tell it the color and size and then do the command to actually make the text show up. So if I went 20, 40, I could look at it two ways. I could say, okay, well, it's doubling each time or it's increasing by 20. I'm just going to say it's doubling each time. So I'm going to find the text size command and notice this number represents pixel size. So above large, I'm going to go 80 and reset and you can tell the difference a lot more with that. So small, medium, large. So notice it's printing the word small, the word medium, the word large. It is a string. Anything in quotation marks in JavaScript in this case is represented um, as a string data type, which is essentially a way of just saying, hey, this is the text I want to appear as text. Um, the text size is the number of pixels. Alrighty, so it uh, looks like I've actually got a couple of new th ones I've not done before, so this ought to be fun. Um, so over the years, they do change the curriculum, so this scene has all the right code, but it's not in the right order. This scene should look like the image on the right. So let's see what's going on. So it looks like the text should be last, um, and the eyes should be after the strawberry. So let's see what's going on. So we've got the berry. 
I'm not sure why the eyes are not showing, though. That is interesting. Oh, I know why. <clears throat> we want to draw sprites before we draw the eyes. That should fix that. And then we want the text to be last. All right, so I just selected the code and moved it. Oop, let me didn't show you the result. There we go. All right, so we just had to move draw sprites before we drew the eyes um, so that the strawberry wasn't drawn on top of them and then move the text to last so it's over everything. Generally, you want your text to be um, one of the last things you include. All right, uh, debug flying riddle. I think this one is familiar. Um, issue with this one, I jump right to it. All right, it's not in quotations. It reads an error. Um, it's trying to read that as a variable or a function. So let's put it in quotation marks. And we are done. Okay, so just make sure if you want it to be text, it needs to be in quotation marks. All right, lesson four, practice 4C. Looks like we got a soccer field. I've got a red goal, a blue goal. All right, and we need to fix the score. And it says add text to the scene that matches it in the picture. This is a little deceiving. I'm actually gonna go a little bit extra here. I'm gonna create a variable called score red. And I'm going to set it to 3. And this is above and beyond. This is not what you really have to do. But I'm going to do score blue. And I'm going to give it a value of a number of 4. And then after I draw the sprites, then I want to have my text. This is also white. So I want to use fill and make that white. The text I want to show up, I probably don't want it at really at zero. I guess I could start it there. I'm going to start it at about 10. Um, we can start it at 15, see what happens. And what I want to show up is red score. I'm going to do a colon and a space. And then outside of that, I'm going to do plus score red. So what that's going to do is this is called a concatenation. It's going to... In that text, it's going to print this as a string, and then it's going to add um, that score to it. So let's see if that works. There we go. And you can kind of see that score of three. So I do need to, I guess I got a little bit too carried away. I do need to make that a zero because it's going to be on the line otherwise. All right. Um, and then for the blue score, I want it to start um, at about 330. I'm going to copy this and paste just because I'm feeling a little lazy. I'm going to change that to blue score. And I'm going to change that to the name of the variable called score blue. I want that to be at 330. I want the height to remain 15, so it's at the same height. All right, so the 4 is not showing up, so I do, it looks like I need to shift it slightly. Let's go 3. And this is where you get really nitpicky. Let's go to 327. There we go. Okay, so, um, and obviously if I were to kind of make my screen bigger, you can see the text a little bit better. Um, that is it. Okay. All right, we are on the assessment level. This one says here's a scene, but it needs text. Do this. Add two pieces of text to the following scene. Make two pieces of text different sizes. Alrighty. Um, so I'm assuming this little person up here um, might be in need of some help. So again, I want my text to be after I draw the sprites. So I'm going to do a text size. I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. I'm going to make this about a 40 and I'm going to make it red. 
and I want it to start about right here, so at 235.90. And I did that again by hovering over. If you look below the reset button, you can see the XY location. And we're pretending like this person is stuck. So they're asking for help. All right, and then right here, this robot is kind of staring at the butterflies, is looking a little clueless. So we're going to make their text a little bit smaller. So we're going to change the text size. 20. And we're going to change the color. It's not as urgent. So we're going to change their text to yellow, which is a good one. And then we are going to put this at 345. Let me probably go to 340. Is my X and I want it at about a 260 Y and this one is just saying they're really excited they're seeing butterflies okay we reset and run so that notice that's not showing up I maybe need a shorter word um, or I could move my X value back and it's just gonna have to be over the robots head so there's not a lot of room for that but we put text of different size in different places um, another option would be to make my text size smaller I could probably go back to 355 at that point, and it's going to fit. A little bit harder to see. Maybe I want to go with black. Um, so a lot of ways you could go around with it. So, um, but that's putting text different sizes, different colors, different places. Alrighty, uh, the challenge problems. Um, this one, learn how to change the color of your text. All right, so. We kind of did that so I just showed you how to change the color um, in that last one, but um, add a new block to make the word sky a different color. So let's make it green. Why don't we? Um, let's add a fill, and or we can make it blue since the sky is blue. There we go. And that's there all there is to that one. Already white text on white background. So notice we have an issue. Um, you can do this, so this is something uh, we have a white fill, a black stroke, um, and a white background. So I need to go back to something we used several lessons ago called stroke weight. And let's make it three to start with. All of a sudden, you can actually see, even though the text is white, the background is white, that stroke, that border, kind of gives it more of an animated look, which is pretty cool. Um, so to make it more pronounced, obviously you can make it um, increase the stroke weight. Um, if you go too much, it's going to start to blur together. So you kind of I don't know how much you can see on the recording, but kind of the V in 7 starting to get a little smushed. So 3 actually works well. Uh, even going down to 2, um, you can still see it. But I felt generally from 3 to 5 is kind of the sweet spot, unless you make the size of your text bigger. Um, so that's how you do that. All right, wrapping the text. Um, this is uh, the addition of the other parameters. So if I go to the text um, code, there's the X, Y, but it says enter values into the optional parameters that will make the text fit on screen. So if I come over here to examples, um, and right here if you notice, I've got 0, 0, 400, 400. So I actually have extra parameters, and it kind of tells me an explanation right here. Um, so the last two parameters give you like a box size, um, a width and a height that it will try to fit in. It always can't do that. So um, right now it's just printing, but I want it to, so let's say I want it to be, I'm starting at, where I can look and see, I'm starting at 30. Let's say I want it to go 30 to 270, that would be 240. Let's just make, give it a width of 250. And I probably want to go down a couple of levels. Let's give it a height of 200 and see if that helps us out. Um, so that didn't quite work. Um, but what I could try to do is maybe um, 
I can move up where I start my text. So I could start it at 100 as opposed to 200. Um, and I'm not quite sure why. So it looks like the, so the years ago is still not showing up. So it's going to fit it in that size, but I need to give it a little bit more. So let's try giving it another 100. There we go. So I um, kind of need to give it more. Or I could have made it wider, and it will fit that way. So that looks a lot better. So you do have to play around with it a little bit, but changing the width and the height. So this first parameter is the width. This is the height. Alrighty, your favorite quote or saying. So this one is more of a freestyle. Um, use what you've learned to create a scene that represents your favorite quote or saying. Um, hopefully by following along this much, you would be ready to do that. Um, and then this one says, use what you've learned to recreate your favorite book, movie, TV show, or even video game scene. Again, these would be fun to do. They will take a long, um, I won't say long, but um, for your sake, um, I'm not going to include these in the video, but if you need help with that, please let me know. And this concludes Lesson 10.